Still, they make up for it in the sheer volume of products that they provide, and they carry some very rare merchandise as well. I was actually very surprised to find some first editions hidden among what they had to offer there. And for the very adventurous, they have some very nice limited editions in there as well. The RPGshop.com, because absolutely nobody wants to be who they really are in real life. Number 9. Trollandtoad.com Okay, take everything I just said about RPGshop.com and expand it to include Magic the Gathering cards and better prices. There you go. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that RPG Shop is a bad store. It's a very, very good store, that's why I put it on the list. But in my own personal opinion, Troll and Toad is just slightly better, and it's not just because of the name. Not only do they have an exceedingly impressive inventory of board games and card games, including Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Pokemon, Digimon, and what have you, but their prices are also much better in my opinion. Sure, some of the items are still outrageously expensive and the first edition stuff will pretty much clear out your bank account, but the stuff that they sell that is meant for everyone is still really, really nicely priced and very affordable for everyone. I would say the biggest difference between the two is if you are going to buy a game specifically to play it and not to collect it or any of its expansions, then RPG Shop is definitely the place to go. But if you are an avid collector, then Troll and Toad is definitely the superior shop, mostly because of their slightly better prices, slightly faster shipping speed, and the fact that they have a much better variety for people like me who like to collect things and not just play them. Well, there are a few more differences, but in terms of just an average customer, this is the one that I would probably visit the most often. I've done business with both stores and they're both excellent places to buy, whether it be for gifts or for yourself, but this is definitely the shop that I come back to the most. Troll and Toad, an awesome name for an awesome store. Number 8. Gamesworkshop.com This one's a bit different because it's something that I've only recently got into, but I know a lot of people who are really passionate about things like this, and trust me, this site has saved my ass many times come Christmas morning. It's a site that specializes in selling miniatures for strategic war games like Warhammer, Warhammer 40k, and the Lord of the Rings games, as well as accessories, paints, and model kits to help you make your own models. It's pretty comprehensive, and while it's not as expansive as some of the other sites that I've available, is really, really nice, especially for collectors and hobbyists who deal in this sort of thing. And not to mention, if you happen to be a person who's interested in that sort of thing but hasn't had a chance to start out in it yet, they do have entire pages on the site dedicated to teaching new players the rules and helping them get started. And the starter kits that they offer are very cheap, inexpensive, and they do ship very quickly. So this is a site that is worth checking out, even if you've never really tried this before because it makes it very easy for new players to get into. And yes, if you are one of those people who just wants to play the game without having to work on the miniatures too much, or if you're just a collector who happens to be incredibly lazy, they do offer pre-painted and pre-built miniatures so you don't have to put a lot of work into them if you don't want to. But I say, where's the fun in that? That's half the fun of playing a game like this. So I encourage you to go and check out the site. The Games Workshop, proving to all of us that chess would be a lot more enjoyable if it involved orcs and lizard men. Number 7. BuyComicShop.com Now if I have to be honest, I don't read a lot of western comics, I'm more of a manga person myself. Now, I still enjoy them on occasion, and I really like watching shows about comics, and 
cartoons based on them, and even Linkara's show, Atop the Fourth Wall. It's a wonderful series. But in terms of reading the actual comics, well, apart from a few paperback editions, a few collections here and there, I don't watch them and I don't read them very often. I'm just not that interested in them. However, purely as a gift website, this has got to be one of the best comic book shops I've ever seen, at least in terms of online comic shops. Not only do they have a fantastically huge selection, reaching all the way back to the golden age of comics, but they also sell merchandise such as comic book collections, trade paperbacks, and everything from really old to really new stuff, even some of the more obscure stuff. Now, of course, the older a comic is, the more expensive it's going to be, but I don't think I've seen an object on this site that was over $40, so that's actually pretty good for some of the rarer stuff. In terms of navigation, the site can be a tad bit confusing, merely because of the way that the scroll-down menus work, but quite honestly, it's still a pretty simple site to navigate, the prices are pretty good, and if you know somebody who's a comic book nerd, then you should definitely either send them to this site, or use this site for most of your shopping. It's really easy to find a gift for any comic book reader to enjoy here, from any stage of history and from any genre. My one real complaint about the site? They still carry titles from Image Comics. God damn it. Aren't the 90s over? Ah well, that sad fact aside, this is still a fantastic site and well worth checking out. MyComicShop.com From Kirby to Lee to Leinfeld to Casada, it's all there. Whether we want it there or not. Number 6 JapanGameStock.com This is probably every import gamer's dream come true. A site that not only sells imported video games, but also imported accessories and consoles for relatively low prices in plain English. It is a fantastic site and great for anybody who's looking to buy games that were not released in the US or the UK or indeed to get consoles or accessories that can only be found in Japan as well. Prices can be shown in both yen and US dollar increments. It's very easy to navigate, very well organized, and very easy to see if what you're interested in buying is in stock or not. Heck, you can even request it if it doesn't happen to be in stock. The site is also extremely colorful and just fun to browse around just to see what they happen to have. It's very easy to locate what you're looking for and it's so well organized that I don't think you'll ever get lost. But like most of the sites on this list, there are one or two little quibbles that I happen to have with it. The first of said quibbles is kind of superfluous but still slightly annoying, especially if you are an English speaker. A lot of the text on the site can have some very bizarre grammar hiccups here and there. While most of the time it's very easy to read, there are some points, especially when you're reading their shipping policies and whatnot, that it can be kind of confusing to look at. But since I'm guessing that English is not the first language of the people who made this site, uh, they do say that the games come straight from Japan, I think I can forgive that. The second is not as easily as forgiven, and that's the shipping charges. Well, I did say that their prices were very reasonable, and indeed they are very reasonable prices, especially compared to, say, places like eBay or Amazon. The shipping prices are what really drive this site down, and it's mostly because, as it says, the games come straight from Japan, so you have to pay for overseas shipping. Still, that's a very minor point to make, and honestly, as annoying as it is, I do know that it's necessary, so this site gets a free pass on that point. JapanGameStock.com Once they start selling ramune soda with every order you make, it'll be perfect. Number 5 TheShoutFactory.com if ever there was a site that listened to its fans, Shout Factory is definitely one of those. 
Pretty much half their inventory in their DVD section is thanks to people requesting that they pick up certain series. That is why we have things like Sonic Set AM, Bump in the Night, and the Super Mario Brothers cartoons on DVDs from these people. They picked them up because their fans requested them. They're also the people who sell the box sets for the MST3K series. And of course, anybody who releases DVDs of Mystery Science Theater is automatically awesome. Well, their prices can be a bit on the high side, especially for the items that I mentioned before, they still really cater to their fans, and they're not so expensive that they're out of an average person's reach. So they're definitely worth checking out, especially if you happen to be a fan of much more obscure shows, or shows that never really got off the ground or didn't have too many fans, like Punky Brewster. Or if you just want to really go back to the past, they do offer box sets of things like Leave It to Beaver. Now if you're into music, they also offer a very comprehensive selection of music CDs as well. But for me personally, since I don't listen to a lot of Western music, their DVD selection is what I'm really interested in. And I honestly can say I'm very impressed with how they cater to their fans. I don't think I've ever seen a website that really operates like this, taking in fan requests to see what they should stock next. Obviously, they have some very specific items that are aimed at a very small fan base in there, but hey, they're catering to people, and that's what I like to see in a shop. The Shout Factory, giving fans plenty of reasons to shout and joy. Number 4. JustManga.com now, as has been stated before, I love manga, so when I find a site that not only sells pretty much any manga that has been released in the US over the years, but also sells them at some of the best prices I've ever seen, I go plum loco. Not only do they sell the single volumes of manga, but they also sell complete box sets of manga as well. And they also list every single volume of a particular series you're looking at, so you can tell immediately whether or not they'll have the volume that you're looking for. And one of the biggest draws to this site that I've seen is their Buyer Reward program. As you do business with them, you can accrue points, which you can then spend on useless swag. But one of their best options, I think, is the 555 Club. If you do enough business with them, then they will offer to let you join the 555 Club, which basically means that you can buy any manga on the site, with a few minor exceptions, for $5.55. Take into account the fact that they only sell their manga at around $8 a volume already, when most mainstream shops are selling them at $12 to $15, and this site has some great deals that you can find pretty much anywhere. And yes, fangirls, they have an entire section of the site devoted specifically to Yaoi. Sadly, us Yuri lovers never win such dignity, now do we? I also love this site because it's just so easy to navigate. I've never had a problem finding what I was looking for, and in fact, I have never been at a loss for what I was looking for either. They seem to have... everything. Which is a lot more than I can say for other sites on the internet, or indeed any mainstream stores that you could just walk to. But hey, walking is overrated to begin with, isn't it? JustManga.com, making it much easier for all of us to read right to left. <laughs>